Hello friends, this is Dipanjan here and welcome to my channel. Being the best freelancing platform on the internet, the Upwork platform is not free from any scams. And these scams can occur inside the platform only. And they can impact both the freelancers and the clients. So it's very important for the freelancers to identify these scams and protect themselves from getting robbed. So as a freelancer, how you can protect yourselves from these scams? Until and unless you are lucky enough, definitely you will get duped by underpayment, underappreciation, important deadlines and scams from the clients. So don't give up during your starting phases. Getting duped and getting underpaid is a part of freelancing career and you can overcome it. So here are some points you should consider to stop being get scammed on Upwork. The first scam and the most common one is requesting for free trial. This is one of the worst and the most common scam on Upwork. The client will ask for a free trial for their work. Don't fall into this trap. Pay attention to the number of open jobs and proposals, reviews and whom they are interviewing. While discussing about the rates, come up with something that is feasible both for you and for the client, but never agree for a free trial. The second most common scam is the client will ask you to operate offsite. This is one of the important red flags when it comes to freelancing is you will be asked to operate outside of the platform. There are many clients who may want to work with you outside of the platform legitimately. But this is also a great opportunity for these scammers. Check whether the client's payment is verified or not and how many ratings the profile is having and how many jobs are open. If there is nothing, then please don't take the contract. Ultimately, stick with the Upwork platform only that will protect your payment. The third point is job postings though sounds illegitimate. Freelancing requires common sense and confidence. Focus on all job postings and invitations. If you have been asked to do something illegitimate, don't take it. And if you have time, report them to save others. The fifth scam you may face is taking the communication outside of Upwork. Often you will find clients who will take the communication outside of Upwork to Skype and other similar channels. This is perfectly fine while discussing about the project. But if this happens frequently and the client is answering only on Skype and wants to continue on Skype, then this might be a red flag. Try to steer things back to the side to ensure that the things are legitimate. If the client refuses to get back to Upwork, then you should consider for other contracts. The sixth scam is the request to share your account. By any means, never do that. Account sharing is against Upwork policies. And anyone who are hoping to share your account might change your account password, change the location of your deposit, take the money that you are waiting to transfer from your Upwork account and demand payment from you to regain access of your account. As you can see, there are many ways to get scammed through Upwork. Whether you are a freelancer or a client, Nobody is resistant to the age-old internet scamming. Luckily, with a little bit of smart work and research, you can save yourself to get duped from this platform. So, have you experienced this kind of scam on Upwork? Please let me know in the comment section below. And like and subscribe my channel for more new and relevant content.